I'm going to ride the public train and bus while holding a mannequin. Excuse me for suddenly interrupting my own video. <laughs> I have something really exciting that I want to share with you before this video starts. I mean, it's already started, but first of all, thank you for 3K. And this channel that you are watching right now got accepted into the YouTube Partnership Program. <laughs> That means I can start monetizing my videos. And so far, I have earned 25 cents. I can't even buy a flower with that to show you in a YouTube video. But anyways, that is a new milestone. Thank you guys so much who has been watching up until now. And I thought to tell you that if you have ad block on, please turn it off. So that I can earn a dollar or five to buy a rose. <laughs> okay, back to the vlog. This next assignment was an upcycling one. We got donated a whole bunch of school blazers to change into whatever wearable garment we want. I was originally getting inspiration from a sustainable brand called Sarah O. Robinson, and these were my sketches. And uh, as per usual, the tutor did not like it at all. So um, this got changed. I'm running a little late for uni. I missed my last bus, and I'm supposed to meet up with a follower that I bumped into last week. And she said she was gonna make me a little cat beanie like i see her on my youtube and like the comments on like everything and it's so sweet and like so i prepared a little gift for her too i got her a little art print um a perfume then a nice hand cream and some earrings i don't know i hope she likes it I am officially dying. This is like my dream hat, y'all. <laughs> like, oh my god, thank you so much. <laughs> she was so cute. You were so cute and sweet if you're watching this. But anyways, one of the hangers that I got from Daiso, I thought I'd show you. Like, you know what a matching blazer set I wore? It has, basically, I'm having my blazer hung on this. But, oh, how do I do this? Let me, let me show you. I'm sorry for bad camera movement, but there's like a clip inside so I can clip my skirt as well. And it also had a little um, hook thingy so I can put my belt on here. So my full set is literally on just this one hanger and it's so convenient. I got like literally one of each different hanger style with different clips and stuff just to see which one I would use more and maybe in the future I'll get more of it. But damn, this is so practical. So a week later, I have, I have no idea what I'm doing. I was unpicking the entire blazer so I could see what part of the blazer I could use. I kind of had an idea of what I wanted to do, but I wanted to unpick the entire thing and pin it onto a mannequin to see if it was actually possible. Because instead of looking at the previous brand, I ended up looking at Louis Vuitton's Spring Summer 2022 collection. And that made me want to use this lace that was donated from a bridal shop, which was perfect for this upcycling project. And I really wanted to make a cool extravagant gown or like formal wear. I really hope I don't glamorize studying fashion but I think I kind of already am considering I'm making content about it on social media because this assignment and the entirety of May was really frustrating and stressful for me because um no offense our like teachers for fashion are like old white people and they kind of forget what they say half the time and pretty traditional and old-fashioned and even talking to the third year fashion students a year above me 
They were talking about how she would always say that they approve of something one week and then the week after she will disapprove it, making everyone redo whatever it is they did. So literally all the work I did for one week was completely scratched the next week, aka what I'm doing right now, simply because the tutor didn't like it. And since design is subjective, you, you want a good grade, so you know. Okay, but like to explain what I'm doing, based on my original research on Louis Vuitton's collection, he mixed unconventional features like denim and tailored wear, like a mix of street style along with borderline high-end couture, which is why I had a denim waistband and I'm playing with the lace, along with mixing like feminine and masculine features, aka a boy's blazer and bridal lace. Like this was my original design, guys, based on this. Still kind of salty that I didn't do this, but like regardless, my end product, I still liked it anyways, because I stopped listening to her advice and started designing what I wanted and researching a designer I wanted because I kind of don't like Louis Vuitton, but it's okay. And here's a daily dose of having lunch in studio because I was so busy. All the fashion students then got an email about a charity fashion show. So me and my friends signed up for it, which will be showed in this video, but had a trip to Daiso again. <laughs> I went to get sewing supplies, okay, along with cute stickers <laughs> and a teddy bear measuring tape. So like, <laughs> random update. <laughs> I know I talked about flowers in my last video. I did not get this myself. Uh, I don't even know how to talk about this. But there's a reason I'm telling you, okay? So basically, I got asked out today by... M <laughs> I can't even talk properly. This guy that I've been kind of seeing for the past few months asked me out today. It's May 20th and like May 20th like 520 sounds like I love you in Chinese, right? So he asked me out today. <laughs> this makes me so happy. Um, if you've been following me from the very beginning of this channel and you've seen my old old videos, you know there were titles like this about my heartbreak and videos that I've been just talking about all my sad shit and I was just basically not doing well, you know, because the beginning of my YouTube like channel, ooh, because like the beginning of making this YouTube channel was basically me trying to get over my ex and having something busy to do so I do not think about him. And then it turned into this. <laughs> so, I mean a win-win situation. I lose some and gain some. I lose one little asshole in my life and then I gain all of you. And I think that was a good trade, so... <laughs> okay, in case you didn't know, I film all my YouTube videos, like this right now, is on my phone. And it's like this Android, it's this phone that I use. And I use my iPad to edit all my videos, and the app is CapCut. I use my phone to film all my TikToks anyways. Oh, and in case you didn't know, I have a TikTok account, recently reached 100k, like... <laughs> One of the videos literally blew up and it's like... Oh my god. Okay, I am getting sidetracked, but anyways... This stupid dumbass boy bought me a whole ass camera. You know those like vlogging cameras that you see like YouTubers use like when they like show off and film stuff and they're holding like this camera? He got me that. Like... I need to learn how to use a camera now. I was going to get a camera at some point when I'm financially able to or I was like hoping that after I get monetized on YouTube I could use that to like invest and go towards my YouTube stuff but <laughs> I literally cried as soon as I Oh my god, I'm getting emotional right now. I, I opened the bag, right? He gave me this bag in the car. This was after he asked me out. He was like, oh, do you wanna like blah blah blah. Anyways, and then he was like, oh, here's this. I tried to hold it in at first, but I was like, no. I'm like crying. This is like way too overwhelming. Like, you're so dumb. Why would you give me I guess... In two weeks, I have semester break, so I'm gonna have a month off uni. Well, kind of a month off uni. I'm gonna have a portfolio like due during the first week of my break. I'm going to try and play around with this camera and see. 
maybe very soon you're gonna get good quality YouTube videos. I don't know. I guess this is a nice little update in terms of relation to my YouTube channel. Honestly speaking, I thought my camera would have been something I got myself because like with things that I need or like use or want, like I usually try to get them myself because you know, like if I hit a certain milestone or if I hit a certain point where I'm able to like, I guess, get things for myself, for something, I'm like, yo, <laughs> I literally didn't expect. Who asked someone to be their girlfriend with a big fucking bouquet of purple flowers? It smells so nice. And a camera. He also gave me a plushie though, but I left the plushie in his car, but you gotta be really stupid to do that. Or I'm just that cool. <laughs> it's the little update. I don't know if that's necessary, but... Oh. Thanks. He's such a fat supporter of my social media stuff. <laughs> You also bought me extra storage. I'm gonna turn off the camera before I cry. This is the flower situation. I like took out all the flowers out of his bouquet and planted it across. Like, look at how aesthetic that is. These are beer bottles. That's a milk tea bottle. That's a drink bottle. <laughs> wow. Oh my god, this makes me so happy. So, I have exactly one week to finish. My blazer and we're having a mannequin showcase basically all our finished garments will be on the mannequins planted around the room and I still have my mannequin with me at home I'm gonna ride the public train and bus while holding a mannequin <laughs> wish me luck <laughs> With one week left to finish my project, this was the day that I had a meltdown. Which is why I don't have that much footage. They straight up told me I was too tryhard and that I should do better because apparently it sucked. <laughs> I walked into studio so excited that day to start beading and start sewing and all the lace and everywhere. Like you saw my design, right? And they hated my white lace and I'm like, bruh, I was gonna do some cool couture and applique beading stuff. And the tutors basically told me if I wanted to use the lace, I might as well dye it or like have it a darker shade. And I hated it. It was disgusting. <laughs> and with less than five days, I changed my thing completely. I just scratched the entire previous design because they clearly didn't like it at all. And I ended up researching into Simone Rocha, Rocha, <laughs> which resulted in this design. Now I still kept some concepts from Louis Vuitton, like the contrasting fabrics and aesthetic, but I used the influence of Simone Rocha's silhouette. I'm calling it Rocha, I don't know how to say it. And immediately I started grinding and creating the soft corset top and decided to make and design what I actually like and what I think looks best because I felt so unmotivated and just like depleted after they told me that they didn't like my thing at all. And it's really funny because the previous week she said she liked the white thing. And it's like, please make up your mind. Funny thing is, is that I decided to interact and seek for advice from the tutors and I end up being low-key bashed. <laughs> so my lesson is to design and make something that I truly like and feel connected to because their judgment is just the, their likings, you know?
particularly proud of myself for matching the seam in the middle of my puff sleeve like look at that oh and i had to make my sleeve in two separate pieces because there wasn't enough surface area on the blazer to cut one entire piece and of course overlocking all my fabrics so that they won't fray and next i unpicked the sleeves and drew a line to where i want to crop the jacket and overlocking the rough edges and because i was on such a time crunch i took the jacket home to sew the sleeves and attach it here it is on my sister to try it on okay that is the little puff sleeve right now well, obviously she is tinier than the model but yay <laughs> I unpicked the leg of the denim jeans and pinned it on the mannequin to see where I would create the darts to make it into a skirt. This method actually increases the accuracy of the fit and the dart placement, especially since I only had a weekend left before I had to finish it. Oh, hold on. I literally came home at like 7. It's 7.30. Nope, it's almost 8. I should be doing my portfolio work. It's due tomorrow. I am not done yet, nor my group. But instead of doing my portfolio work, I'm gonna measure my head. <laughs> oh my god. I'm purposely filming this so that my follower can see this, but like, Loki bumped into her. I didn't know it was her until after I saw her message, and I was like, holy shit, it's the cute girl that always comments on my stuff. And I really like cat beanies and just like cat hats in general and i've been wanting to get one and she was wearing one and i thought it was so cute and i wanted to know where she got it from and my friend was like oh my god ask her where she bought it from or like want to get some and she made it and now i'm measuring my head instead of doing uni work 